Okay, battery died, had to replace the battery. So I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm able to splice it, it might have to be part two. I don't have a really good, uh, I don't have a good uh, way of doing any fancy camera work. I just download it and that's it. Anyways, the uh, the uh, confusing thing here is that the cream ore didn't perform it did not outperform any of these bullets so going back to the graph this this uh, arch here they're they're basically touching each other and there are three bullets here uh, I think there's one within the blue and it I see the brown a tan uh, the tan on top so the green must be inside the blue there that you can't see it but here's the performance 45 48 45 60 and 44 22 so let's get the heavy uh, 45 60 and let's deduct the 44 22 and we have an inch and a quarter 1.38 1 1.38 it's uh I don't know, let's call it uh, one in five sixteenths, a little bit over a quarter. Now, does it constitute uh, uh, a good reason to purchase a seven hundred dollar minimum gun to shoot one inch in a quarter uh, above more when I have a ballistic? Uh, a BDC scope that I can just adjust it to the drop. The caliber is performing pretty good uh, together with the uh, 308. So I don't think it's feasible. Uh, and I was considering the, the Creedmoor, but the Creedmoor's have been performing worse. And I still don't understand why. Uh, the only reason is the powder content. Now, the performance let me let me do the performance at 3000 because it said it could take more and i want to i want to make sure about this because it's really um puzzling so 3000 let's save that okay and let's see what it does and this is within the the recommended load so right there you see that the line already uh, moved up. Let's see about by how much. So we have here uh, on the E tip 150 we have 45, 48. On the GMX we have 43, 44, and on the Nussler uh, 7mm08 E tip we got 44, 22. So the uh, 308 bullet at 300 feet per second it's it's flying flatter than anything and and that's the formula the powder what kind of powder and how much powder the um, the book recommends several other powders but they don't give you that kind of performance on this page uh, for the cream it doesn't even recommend the uh, Verget. On the 308, um, on the 7mm08, let's see, 140, 140, 140 Verget goes up to 28.49. So what do I have? I got uh, I got 29.22. So I got it higher. Let me see if I can find it on the book here. Yeah. I got the RL19 powder maximum load 2922. That's it. That's all she blows. That is the maximum on this on this uh, bullet that you can load 2922. And that's the hottest on this page. Um, well, no, hang on. There is another one here called the Big Game. I never seen that powder, but it must be it must be out there. Uh, big game maximum load is 29.53. Okay, let's uh, be uh, let's be equal about it, and let's change it. 
it's 20 what is it 29.53 so it's gonna go up another 20 something grains okay let's save that and that is the hottest now every time you load it's recommended to load 10% uh, or uh, yeah 10% under the hottest so let's see 4311 you get here now uh, this commercial let's see if I can get this out of here oh, okay good uh, 4311 at 500 yards versus 4344 and the 308 so you, you so you see my point is that it's not necessary to buy another caliber I have a lever action with a 20 inch barrel the reason I'm considering another rifle is because I want to go to a 22 inch barrel and the Tika I checked out the Tika and I was looking at the Savage that Tika looks pretty pretty good rifle and I've shot it I killed the deer with, with it once a friend of mine and it performed excellent it hit exactly what I was aiming at 200 yards so this thing um, is not I don't need to buy another die I don't need to get more shells and spend extra money. I got the 308 die, I got the 308 shells, and I got the 308 primers. Basically, I know that the 308 shell and the 7M08 is the same animal. You just gotta neck it down, but I don't want to go through the hassle of working, you know, and doing that. It's, it's gonna be extra time for me. Uh, so basically, the expense is gonna be based on lever action versus bolt action. Caliber, I'm gonna keep the 308. Performance-wise, you can't do better than that. Uh, if I'm gonna go to 30, uh, let's see. Let's just do this for for the hell of it. On the super performance, uh, if I go 3200 at the muscle, it's supposed to be 3400. Uh, and I'll, I'll get a box and verify this because I'm really curious about this uh, this bullet. Okay, shoot it. Let's see what it does. Look at that. Look at that right there. It's way and above. It's in the 30s now. Look at that. 37, 20. 30, if I load it up to the max, it'll probably go to 36. At 500 yards, that's amazing on a 308. So there's no point on changing calibers. Uh, the 308, it's a very well recognized uh, round. That bullet does uh, fantastic. Military uses it for a thousand yard shot. I know they got the best rifles and the best scopes, but I'm, I'm not gonna try to do a thousand yards or anything. And the the 308, I've, I've used it for 30 years, and it works perfect. So the 7M08, if you're gonna have a new rifle that you don't have, you know, if I didn't have the 308, yeah, I will probably buy the 7M08. But why? What for? If the performance is gonna be that much of a difference? I mean, 43. Let's see, that's gonna be embarrassing here. 43.11. Minus 37.20, 5.91, rounded out to six. Dude, six inches. There's no difference. Uh, there's no point in getting another rifle in that caliber. I'll stick to my 308. So yeah, uh, and then the 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 Creamor that kind of blew my mind. I I have to, I I double checked everything to make sure it was on the books. And the powder measure and the ballistic coefficiency, it's uh, is exactly what it says. I don't know why it was giving that kind of performance. It's really weird. Let's see. Let's do this again. 719. I want you guys to check it. And it's G1 also. Everything is G1. So 719, 142, 2731 maximum load according to Nosler. Okay. And uh, let's see if I have my other, no, oh, hang on. Just to be fair, I got a spear. I got a spear book here that is also new. It's only a, a year. Let's 
see if I can find a, a load. Maybe it's hotter on this one. Because I noticed that the the newer books have uh, lighter, uh, more conservative loads. I guess they don't want to. The companies don't want to start uh, getting lawsuits and stuff. Let me see here. Uh, seven, okay, the seven mo eight at uh, let's see, what was it? One hundred and forty. Let's see if we have a forty. No, forty, yeah, forty. One thirty. Oh, they don't have a one thirty. Have a one forty. Okay, maximum load on the CMO8 is RE nineteen powder. It's twenty nine thirty three. So let's change that and see what we get. What what do we get? So what do we get now? Twenty nine. Oh wait a minute. It's less powder. It's less powder. It's uh, the the nozzle recommends twenty nine fifty three max, and the spear uh, recommends twenty nine thirty three. So it's less. So I'll leave that one alone. Let's look at the. Let's see. You know, I don't think I have the cream one in this book. I got the Swedish. That's supposed to be next to it. I think I saw it. Uh, give me a minute, guys. I'm trying to find that information here, but I don't think it's. Uh, you know, that creamer's been around for a few years already. It should have been in this book already. They got a 6.5 Remington Magnum, 6.5 55 Swedish. They invented the round, anyways. 2506, 257. I don't think it's here, guys. So I don't want to. Oh, wait a minute. 6, 7, 6 millimeter Remington. 40 Weatherby. Winchester. Winchester Remington. Uh, no, no cream work. It's not in this book. So I'm going to. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that the 308 still performs well and I don't know what these other guys are doing um, that they come up with these formulas and they show the 308 dragging, you know, dropping like a brick. I know it's a bigger, heavier bullet. It just depends on your powder and the ballistic coefficiency. The one that's still blowing my mind is that the Creamor that is just doing this weird, you know, thing. And let's do it. Let's, let's put it in again. Let's shoot it because I thought it was going to be a flat traje trajectory not this rainbow thing so here we go look at that 719 bullet weight coefficient C 142 grains 2731 maximum load everything is the same temperature altitude there's got to be something different here 500 yards wind speed oh let me check the wind speed image wind speed the wind speed ah hang on I got zero here zero here zero here ten all right let's change that that might be the the, the reason so let's find it uh, I want to give cream more the benefit of the doubt there's ten I was kind of rooting for the cream or two when I saw the ballistic coefficient, I said, oh, wow, that's a doozy. That's going to really do the job. Let's see here. All right, let's drop down and check it out. You don't think I'm zoomed too close? Let me back up a little bit. You guys can still see there. All right, let's go down. Bring it up uh, just to here. Okay, so let's see. Wind speed is zero, weight angle is 90 like everybody else. Zero to 100 yards, uh, range 500, and velocity and everything is the same. Okay, so what do we got? 47.83. I still don't get it. I still don't get it. With that ballistic coefficient, this thing could have been 
a laser and it's not doing it so that's why I hesitated and everybody every time I go to a gun store or the cream or the creamer everybody's pushing the cream more and I said oh um, let's look at energy because also they were talking about energy so okay the 7 mm 8 is 2280 velocity at uh, 500 2284 so that's close that's pretty close energy is uh, on the cream more is 1645 on the mo8 is 1616 on the 308 it's 1880 there right there it took it and on the nozzler it's 1624 so 1624 is the lowest versus 1645 the cream more does have a little bit more let's see Let's do the numbers. 1645 minus 1624. It's got 21 pounds more. Oh please. Come on. It it doesn't it doesn't make a, a difference. Uh that 21 pounds is nothing. If it was 121, man, not even that. It's gonna be more than just you know, 200 pounds maybe, but not even a hundred so 21 pounds it, it just doesn't it doesn't constitute the reason to buy a another rifle with a different caliber so the the 6.5 Creedmoor I'm sorry guys I know there's a lot of followers out there uh, they love this caliber but it doesn't show the numbers don't lie I tried I tried everything I put the maximum load change everything to its benefit no win everything it has to be at 7,000 because that's where I, at, at 8,000 that's where I hunt um, if we want to be more uh, stickler about it let, let's change that to uh, let's see let's put um, 7,000 maybe that'll make a difference okay okay let's save that upgrade it and shoot let's see let's see let's see 48 oh my god it even went down more it used to be 47 that is weird 48.16 it was 47 well I'm sorry guys that's all I can say the 308 is still the champion the followed by the 7 mmo 8 and then followed by the 6.5 but this 308 can outperform um, and also depends on your rifle if you get the really good rifle maybe if you have a you know like a like a uh, sniper rifle maybe the bullet will perform a lot better but this is this formula has worked with a 24 inch barrel which uh, by the way I asked the guy at, at the owner of this uh, website to if they can incorporate a barrel uh, length calculation because all these measurements even though they're good they're not going to apply to my gun my gun is 20 inch barrel I know I'm going to be below whatever it says here. But I'm just looking at the performance of the bullet, not the rifle. So, there it is, guys. Sorry to disappoint uh, the Creedmoor guys. I'll see you on the next one.